Okay, now let's go to the character and create an empty object. Name it rig arms. This will be the parent for both of the arms. Now let's create an empty game object for the left arm and one for the right arm. So the next step is adjusting the position of the transforms. Drag and drop the left arm to the beginning of the left arm and do the same, move the transform to the beginning of the right arm. To be able to move the bones around, we need the target. The target will be moved manually or per script. Now let's create the target for the left arm and move it to the beginning of the arm, so to the hand position. Now let's create a hint. The hint is responsible for bending of the arm, so we put it on the elbow position. Okay, now let's duplicate both and move it to the right arm and adjust the position. Next step is to add the rig script to the rig arms, so that to the parent of the left and right arm. With the rig script, we can control if the bones should be affected by the animation rigging or not. Now let's go to the root transform of our rig. This is the character itself. Add the rig builder script and assign the reference to the rig arms. Now we are ready to go on with the two bone IK setup for the arms. Go to the left arm. Add component and type in the script to bone I key constraint. So now let's open our tree and drag and drop the target and the hint into the reference slot. Now bonus tip is here to go and find the first bone, so the hand which you want to move. So starting point would be the hand. Drag and drop it into the slot into the script on the Tip reference. Now go to the dots on the right corner and say auto setup. So the script will automatically assign, go down the chain and assign the next bones into the reference slots. So let's do the same on the right side. Add the script, assign the references and do the auto setup. So now let's run the game to test it and you will be able to move the bones really, move and rotate. So bonus tip for today, add the bone renderer script to the character and it will make all the bones visible for you. You have different options here in the script to change the color of the bones, to change the form of the bones, make it thicker or thinner. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope it helps you. See you in the next one.